All right, here's what I want you to do. There are two test tubes, so go ahead and pick up the two test okay. tubes there. All right. Uh, two cool. somewhat colorless liquids, a, a little bit of uh, a little foam there on the oh, top. Oh, they are. It's just kind of a little giveaway. Fizzing just a little bit. All right. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to have you pour this one into this one completely, and don't take your eyes off of it. Two okay. colorless liquids. All right. Watch what happens when you mix them together. Are we ready? Go ahead. Okay, right in there. And, pour and, right and in. it goes. Don't take and your eyes off. Now think. Think, 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 uh, think, uh, think I'm darker thinking thoughts. darker. It needs that? to be darker. darker thoughts? And it's going to be darker. And here it comes. In the, <laughs> in and the, in the 1930s, moment, if I blow on it, was, it or something. You could try or? a little. Uh, no, see, nothing. that was perfect. It was nothing at all. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> but you, this but is you're how my chemistry experiments yeah. used to go, exactly yeah. like this. I know that, I know that. <laughs> it's a, a classic reaction called Think Ink, and you would mix the two chemicals together, and it would look like it's starting to change just a little bit. It would startle you because it will happen right there in your hand. So you keep oh. on hanging on to that one. Okay. I'm going to hang on to this one at the same time because it's hard to tell what the timing is going to look like. Ready? Okay. Three, right. look at yours. Oh, mine two. just went. What, isn't that amazing? Oh, and yours and went. Oh, and isn't that amazing? It goes. And the timing is a little bit different. Is that nice? That is very cool. So it tricks those people who. Is think it me? Do I, are your hands warmer than mine? No, or it has something, nothing or? to do with it at all. It's just the timing is a little bit different. <laughs> this is a classic reaction called Think Ink. It was popularized by a magician here in Denver That's by the name of cool. Orville Meyer, who's since that. passed away. Well, what a cool thing with the kids now! It's like cool? you know, they, with, with you know, with two little, little beakers, they can make it happen. All right, so I'll trade you. Watch this. Okay. We've reformulated so we have a new chemistry to be able to kind of see what's happening. Happening and, and something that teachers can, for example, use in the classroom, somebody using a science project. Just water. So we're just going to start with water like this. Okay, right. And now put those glasses back on again because oh. we're going to use our chemicals. Okay, right? Right. Uh, the secret, believe it or not, is starch. So we actually, the reason it turned blue like this or black is because of starch. And so we had an iodine starch reaction. So the chemistry is we had to make a little bit of iodine and we had to use the starch here to trip it. So watch this. I took a starch peanut and shake it up like this and now it's dissolved. So oh, yeah. I have oh, starch in the solution. Peanuts, yeah, isn't it right. fun? So there's yes. a starch in the solution. Right. Now, there are two powder mixtures that are here and we're simply going to kind of put those in and I'm putting the information kind of up on the website so you can kind of see what's happening. But you can see we get a little bubbling action that comes in sure here enough. as well. Oh, sure. So there's yep. one of them right. and here's our second one that's here okay. and we mix it in. So literally it's as easy as the two little powders that kind of go inside. The, the, the chemistry is a little bit complex uh, because what we're doing is we're taking iodine and we're going from the reduced state to the oxidized state. And reduced state and oxidized it's a little battle going back and forth. You can see it starts to foam up. See the little yep. foam that's there? So if yep. you set that off Almost to the like side. Laundry soap in there or something. Yeah. So you can uh, set it off to the side. This one has been resting for a little while oh, and so okay. now we have our reaction. So okay. it's called a clock reaction. Meaning that when you pour them together, it's hard to tell exactly when it's going to happen. There's a lot of factors, but try that last one and see how well okay, that one which works. Which is half right? the fun. Half right? the fun, right? Okay, and so then I'll show you here. how it recycles. All right, ready? You ready? Okay. Right, kind of pour ready? it in there. And here we go, here we go, here we go. And Good job. And so you think, isn't that fun? It looks like it's perfectly clear, but we've got this uh, competition of mine. Oh! Now watch this. Let's make it go back. A little bit of recycling powder. Fair enough. So watch this. Pour it back into oh, here. So we added just back? a little bit of here. Really? I'll trade you. There okay. you go. A okay. little bit there. Ready? Three, two, one. Tell me that's the not pretty. Thing. Look at and that. And we are back once Voila. again. Isn't that fun? That is so if you great. saw that commercial years ago where that liquid, you know, changed with that detergent that was on the market, yeah, oh, well, now you right. know something about the iodine clock reaction. What a fun experiment. And of course, you want to go to the website, 4 o'clock at 9 news, look for the colorful Spangler Science logo, and your children can do this for their science fair or just, you know, for fun at home.